my last tutorial, I showed you guys really quick how to border your comic pages with calligraphy pens. Today, I'm going to show you how I pencil my comic pages. And the techniques I'm going to show you are, um, are relevant for how I pencil my full watercolor pages, like 7-inch Carol, where there are no inks, and how I'm going to pencil this watercolor and ink comic here. So I hope you guys will keep on watching. So here we have our blue lines printed out onto Fabriano Studio watercolor paper. It's not the greatest watercolor paper in the world, but it will do for this project. And we used a water-soluble dye-based inkjet printer. Um, it was the Canna, Canon Pixma Pro Mark 9000, something like that. Uh, you can check the door. You can check the description below for that. You can also check out a tutorial on how to print out your own blue lines at netosoup.blogspot.com in the intro to comic craft section. So I like to pencil, I like to do a lot of stuff with a mechanical pencil. And this has 2H lead in it. And I'm very specific about what lead I use because I find that other brands are just too soft. So I use Ein, which is, um, it's like Einstein by Pentel. And actually this is H lead, not 2H lead, in 0.7. Now I'm very heavy handed, so I tend to break leads a lot. So that's why I prefer a 0.7. You're also gonna want a variety of erasers handy. Um, I have a white stroke over here. I really like these erasers. I discovered these when I was doing the Cicada Summer pages. And I highly recommend that you guys also give them a shot. It is also super handy to have a drafting brush, and this is just a really old Alvin drafting brush. So we're gonna start with our young lady here in the foreground, and I'll zoom in so you guys can see. And I'm penciling to sort of tighten this up, and then I'm going to ink over it. So even though I made a lot of digital corrections today, I'm still, actually zoom out a little bit. Uh, I still have some things I wanna tweak and push. And for those of you who are wondering, this ink will uh, come out. I just have to stretch my pages first. And that allows it to leave the paper in a controlled fashion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pencil today and then I'm gonna ink these pages using waterproof brush pins tomorrow. And what I might do is I might do a quick overview of waterproof um, waterproof brush pins, but I really don't like inking on camera. So we pretty much just go over our line work, tighten a few things up. Uh, I like to work pretty tight in my, in my rough to begin with. So a lot of this is just going over things. In fact, I could probably start inking over this. There's some rough areas, but not too, too many. So now that you guys have the gist of this, I'm going to pencil the rest of this page in time-lapse.
So this is penciled. Tomorrow we're going to ink it. I am going to go ahead and ink this page, but I'm gonna do that off camera. And then I'll check in with you guys. But some things I wanted to point out, I used a cover sheet to protect areas I'd already worked. I also did some of my lettering here on the fly, but some of it I did on the computer and then I went over it again in pencil and I did that for consistency sake. So that show and tell is written on the board in several other panels and in order to be consistent, I used a font and I'm going over the font. So um, I hope you guys maybe picked up a few tips. Usually we wouldn't pencil as much or as tightly. Um, you would just pencil what needs to be corrected and then ink the whole thing because that's what the blue lines are for. Um, for me, there were several things I wanted to change and correct as I went along, several things I wanted to better establish. So I used the penciling stage as an opportunity to do that, which is, you know, also what penciling is for. All right, so we've got both pages penciled. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and begin inking it. Actually, they're slightly out of order. This is the way they go. I will begin inking them tomorrow, and then I need to let that cure for 24 hours before I'm gonna start, before I erase my pencils and before I start inking. But if you wanted to, at this stage, you could stretch this and begin painting over this. I mean, that's how I do my carrot pages. I don't do the, the black ink borders. I do my borders either with color pencil or digitally, but I just go ahead and paint over my pencils. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial on penciling your watercolor comic illustrations. I hopeful, hopeful, I hope it was helpful for you guys. And I hope to see you guys again really soon with lots more great comic craft tutorials. Have a great day guys. Bye.